Yvette Ray, of course, will be encouraged by that uh, bronze she got the four, in the 400 meter hurdles. Not had a particularly outstanding season because of injury. Gladys Taylor was fourth in the 400 meters individual. Kathy Smallwood, of course, has got the silver in the 200 and holds the Commonwealth record at 50.6. On your six. mark. And Jocelyn Hoyt Smith, while well, she got the bronze in the individual 400. The Australians, though, Leanne Evans. They're number two on the first leg. Denise Boyd, fourth in the 200 on the second. Flintoff, who got the gold medal in the 400 metres hurdles on the third. And Raylene Boyle, the individual champion, right on the outside. And going for a record number of goals in Commonwealth Games. If the Australians win this, Raylene Boyle takes her total to, up to eight goals. Set. Away they go. The first leg run in lanes. And pace judgment all important. So Carmen Smart's gone off very quickly for Wales. Just leaving a bit Ray slightly, but into the wind in the back straight. Ray powering away. And the girls are finding it very hard in that back straight. The Australian lead-off girl, Leanne Evans, is having a bad time and has been caught by Sandra Whittaker. And in fact, the wind is very, very strong at this moment. England in the white. Closing up on the two countries outside, Wales and Kenya. And the Australians have started very badly indeed. Leanne Evans being caught by Sandra Whittaker of Scotland. They turn downwind now, but of course the staggers don't unwind until the beginning of the back straight on the second leg. But it looks to me as if Yvette Ray has taken England into the lead. Canada are going well through Crooks. Yvette Ray handing on to Gladys Teller, and the Canadians the first of the... Oh! England have dropped the baton! The England team have dropped the baton, and that is a disaster! Well, after so much gold in one day, they're now in last place. Canada lead. Australia in second place. Scotland third. Wales four. Kenya five. New Zealand six. And that is Taylor trying to make up lost ground. But the job is impossible. Whether they can get into the medals is another matter. But certainly they've lost touch now with the goal. Canada leading. Gillian Richardson. And Australia with Denise Boyd in second place. And the whole complexion of the race changed with that changer. Canada leading, Australia now taking the lead. Scotland in third place, Wales four, and England five. Australia guard first, Debbie Flintoff, Canada in second place, Molly Killenbeck. Then Scotland are now third, Wales four, and Cathy Smallwood, the Commonwealth record holder, in fifth place, some 30 metres behind the fourth place, and some 50 behind third place. Still Australia leading. And they've got a tremendous chance of taking gold now with Raylene Boyle on the last leg. But Raylene Boyle has got to take on the 100 metres gold medalist, Angela Taylor, who's not used to forum. The Canadian, Molly Kellenbeck, closing up on Debbie Flintoff. And Canada take the lead. Australia trying to fight back, but it's Canada leading. Australia in second place. Scotland a clear third, and Cathy Smallwood comes into fourth place. So, Canada away in front to Angela Taylor, chased by the golden girl of Australian athletics, Raylene Boyle. Scotland through Lindsay MacDonald, I think it is, on the last leg. In third place, England, Jocelyn Hoyt-Smith fourth, but uh, Scotland looks secure for the bronze. But the real battle there for gold, and Raylene Boyle waiting waiting behind the inexperienced quarter miler Angela Taylor who's better known at 100 and 200 when will Boyle pounce Taylor looking Boyle trying to get round the outside Taylor responding for Canada and here comes Boyle on the near side and the Canadian holding her Angela Taylor holding it for Canada what a finish and Taylor hangs on a dushy Canada may have won it, Australia second, Scotland third, England four, Wales five, but the videotape replay will be fascinating. And it looks as if the Canadians believe they've won it. I thought so. Raylene Boyle just could not match the sprinting speed of Angela Taylor, who is totally inexperienced at this distance. But certainly the England girls, from what we saw there, would have been not just among the medals, but in the fight for gold. If it hadn't been for that slip between Yvette Ray and Gladys Taylor.
Raylene, in fact, has got seven goals now and two silvers in Commonwealth Games, a record total of nine. This is the faulty changeover. What a Tibet Ray there, handing over to Gladys. And she had it in her hand and dropped it. Gladys Taylor seemed to have it secure, and then it slipped away, and so with it in England's chances. This was one of the finest races of the Games. And what a supreme athlete Angela Taylor is. 100 metres gold medalist, bronze in the 200. Running a rare event for her over the 400. But she just saved herself there to win a second goal. Raylene Boyle did nothing wrong at all. She waited, timed her attack right, or tried to time it right, but in fact, Angela Taylor wasn't giving it all, and it looks from that angle as if the Canadian win is confirmed. Indeed it was, and we ought to point out that Aston Moore won a bronze medal in the triple jump behind that uh, great leap by Keith Connor.